In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called adding rational expressions with common denominators and binomial numerators. In this example, we're asked to add these two rational expressions, and they do have a common denominator. So that means that we will be able to add without getting a common denominator since it's already there. And I will just need to be careful with any signs outside of these rational expressions to be sure that they're applied to everything inside. For example, this minus in front of this rational expression will need to be applied to everything in that numerator. So I'll start by just showing what that would look like since we have a common denominator here of 8a, I'll combine this into just one fraction where the numerator starts with a minus that will be applied to the 8a minus the 11b. That's our first numerator. And then since we have addition, I can write the second numerator as is. So it'll just be a plus 6a minus 4 B. So we've combined things here into one fraction. I can then simplify by first distributing that minus to be a negative 8a and then distributing to the second term a plus 11b, bringing down the rest of the expression, including the denominator. I can now look at combining like terms. So in the numerator, I have a minus 8a and a plus 6a, those will combine to be a minus 2a. And then I also have like terms between the plus 11b and the minus 4b. Those can be combined to be a plus 7b. From here, we've combined like terms. I would look to see if there was anything that I could factor out of the numerator that might be able to cancel with something in the denominator. But in this case, there's nothing that factors out of the numerator. So this would be our simplest form for our answer. 